Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Baden, aka Bades One. Just want to talk to you about a thing that's going on with me lately. It's been happening for a long time now. Um, <coughs> forgive me, I'm really unwell at the moment. I'm just in this state. takes a toll on you and your energy. And at the moment, I just don't have much energy in me. So, uh, a couple of years ago, I started noticing little problems with my health, and they got worse. And then last year came, things got really bad. Problems, breathing problems, saliva problems, a whole bunch of shit, acid reflux. <coughs> and um, this year, I thought it, w it would be the perfect year for me to overcome every problem that have that's just been in my way last year in 2013. I thought, yes, this is my year. Lately I've been so unwell, I just haven't been able to. I'll kind of explain to you what I've got. It's not been a perfect actual diagnosis from a doctor yet. Sorry guys, I'm just going to take my time because I'm really unwell. all the time, feeling like you can't breathe, heart going fast all the time when you stand up, going up really high rates, everything. My energy is basically gone, it really is. And uh, I'm in Perth at the moment, I'm staying at Ronald McDonald House, didn't bring my camera with me so I've only got this shitty webcam quality stuff and uh, I've been flat on the back for a long time not doing much alright so I've been in bed a lot all the time basically and my mum's had to care for me she's been doing everything now this problem's been getting worse for a long time and it's been getting going downhill and <coughs> <coughs> it's just been getting worse okay and I wanted to be honest with you a lot of you don't know this but it's like this thing is tearing me apart literally physically I'm fucked alright I've lost a shit ton of weight I'm like fucking what's his name Christian Bale and the machinist alright lost a shit ton of weight. I used to be 73 kilos. Now, it's gone all the way down to 52. Last time I checked at the doctors, I haven't bothered now. So lately I haven't checked. So I lost a shit ton of weight. Because of these breathing problems, acid reflux, everything. Makes it hard to eat. Makes it hard to do things. It makes it hard to live, alright? And every day brings more challenges. You know, but I'm still here, I'm alive. I'm grateful for that, but this thing, I don't like living with this. I don't, and I, I'd like to get better. But at times, it's hard to believe I will. <coughs> at least I can say, now that I've 
got this thing. And it's all I can say to me. Before I had this, I didn't stop and think about things like getting up to walk somewhere or going just to get up to go to the toilet. Anything, man. It's fucking hard. It's hard for me because of the condition I've got. And the doctors have tried to, for years, diagnose this thing, but they've never actually pinpointed it and go, okay, that's what it is. It's a rare problem. You know, it really is. And damn. If I'm to stop and I think, how did my life get to this point, you know? How did it actually get this bad? I'm not saying my life is bad, but my health, that's a different thing. How did my health get this bad? It feels like a cancer, you know? Just eating at you. Sucking all the energy out of you, you know? But at least I can say, from this experience, I've met a lot of people Nice people, I'm staying at Ronald McDonald House at the moment. That's an organisation that takes in people that are dying with cancer and that have heart problems and all kinds of stuff. You know, they take in these people, literally have them stay here for free. You know, no problems at all. Give them stuff. Just support them. And they've been very supportive of me and a whole bunch of people. I've met a lot of good people, right? Some people I've met here that have died. Some people I've met here that are still alive but they are dying. Some people I've met here that aren't dying and they're fortunate but they still have ongoing heart things and other problems. You know? These are good people, and during this time, I've grown to connect with a lot of people, and it's hard when these people die. It's hard to be sick all the time, you know. statuses and things but I don't think any of you know the severity of this problem and I'm almost run out of battery so I've got to make this quick I've met a lot of beautiful people but ever since I've got this I've been able to stop and think okay well I was grateful to be able to when I have the, those moments of being able to get up to go to the toilet or something when I have that little bit of energy that I get to get up and do something, I'm grateful, all right? And I'm grateful that I had good health for as long as I did, for 18 years. Some of these kids only lived to their eight, five, four, and they died, okay? Because of cancer, it eats at them, it just eats them alive and kills them, all right? I'm not saying I've got cancer, I'm not saying that I'm never gonna be healthy again, but I'm saying that it's made me think about good health and to be thankful for it, because one day you're going to lose it, we've all got to lose it at some point, because we all die, we're not immortal, be thankful for your health and what you've got for when you have it. Think about it, guys. Think about what you've got and how fortunate you are. Because one day, make the most of it too, because one day, it's going to go. And it's sad. It really is, but it has to. And 
it's just the reality of it. It's the reality of life. You live life when you die, you know. <laughs> kind of a depressing video, but I'm just telling you the truth. Anyway, I love you all, and I've got to go because this is running low on battery. Keep well. I love the life out of you. I really do. I'm not. I'm, oh, I'm not going to commit suicide if you think that. Just saying that to clear all that up. <laughs> I don't want you thinking I'm depressed and I want to kill myself because that's not the truth. But I'm just letting you know anyway. All right. Keep well. Love you, babies, and subscribe. Keep well.